En el centro de la pampa vive un pimiento Sol y viento pa' su vida, sol y viento Sol y viento pa' su vida, sol y viento Bonjour, je m'appelle Patrick Bonnard, bienvenue à la 140e édition du Piment. Hello, I'm Patrick Bonnard, welcome to the 140th edition of the Pimento Report. Alors, ici, on est à Montréal, à Westmount. Juste en arrière, il y a l'école Westmount High School. C'est assez fameux dans ce secteur de Montréal. Par exemple, une des candidates à la présidence des États-Unis maintenant, en 2019, Kamala Harris, a reçu son diplôme secondaire de cette école. So, I'm here in front of Westmount High School. It's pretty famous here in this part of Montreal. Kamala Harris, for example, a candidate for the presidency of the United States, went here. And this morning, at 8 o'clock in the morning, there was a protest here of students, parents, residents, teachers, against the project which is called Law 21. That is a law which will prohibit work in certain sectors of the public service to people who wear a kippah, who wear a turban, and above all to Muslim women who wear a hijab. Alors, euh, on a contesté ce matin, à 8 heures du matin, le, le projet de loi 21 du gouvernement provincial ici au Québec. Alors, c'est une loi qui va refuser l'emploi dans certains secteurs euh, du secteur public pour les gens qui portent une kippa, qui portent un turban, euh, qui portent euh, une hijab, par exemple. Et ça, ça vise particulièrement les femmes musulmanes. Vous allez entendre une de ces femmes dans cette vidéo qui s'appelle Madame Ahmed et elle travaille ici dans cette école. So, this morning there was a demonstration against the project which is called Bill 21, a proposed piece of legislation. It was very animated here. There were students, there were parents, all sorts of people. My name is Robert Green. I'm a teacher here at Westmount High, and I'm one of the teachers that helped organize this action. Alors, Monsieur Green, c'est quoi votre critique de cette cette loi proposée par le gouvernement? Notre critique, c'est que cette loi va rendre à nos étudiants des des citoyens de deuxième classe. Oui. Cette loi dit à, à nos, nos étudiants, les, les filles qui portent le, le hijab et les garçons qui portent le, le Jewish kippa, qu'ils ne devraient pas rêver de, de être un juge un jour ou être un, un policier un jour ou même être un enseignant. Et ça, c'est contradictoire de les valeurs de l'éducation publique, c'est contradictoire de les valeurs d'une société démocratique. Today, I stand as a citizen of Canada and a student of Westmount High School. I am a Hindu. I practice the Hindu faith. My parents fled persecution and injustice in Sri Lanka and they fled here to Canada to find opportunities to raise their children, my sister and I, to have a better education and to have the opportunity to succeed and regard to succeed and get the opportunities that any other citizen in this on this planet gets, regardless of faith, regardless of how you look, regardless of your color of your skin. You have a lot of uh, local politicians here, the former mayor of Westmount, uh, Bud Drury's son, who is a counselor here, a lot of residents, a lot of students. Yep. It's quite impressive, this group. Yeah, it, it absolutely is, and I think it, it's representative of the unity that, you know, that we've seen expressed by this community. <laughs> 
So, you know, it was about a month ago that the English Montreal School Board held a public meeting and, you know, every single person who came to the mic uh, to, to speak to this issue uh, spoke about how wrong it was and how the school board needs to stand against this. I just want to personally thank everybody who came out this morning. Um, I'm going to be directly affected by this. My daughters might one day be directly affected by this. So from the bottom of my heart, um, thank you. It gives me strength to have a community like you to stand with me in this fight. Um, and then on behalf of our students, um, I want to thank everybody. We teach them every day to work hard, to follow their passions. And we tell them, you can be anything you want to be. Um, so you being here this morning keeps that statement true and it's so important. So thank you so much. Beautifully said, Garesh. And we have one more student, Remo, uh, here who wants to say a quick word before we pass it on to Mr. Frally. Here you go, Remo. Hi guys, uh, hey. I, I am honored to be here today. Uh, as, as, as a disabled uh, student, I, I really don't accept injustice and it's important that we stay together because no matter what, the skin color or no matter the faith we believe, religion has no place in the workplace. It's the individual and it's the individual's heart that counts, not the skin color. Thank you. Good morning, everyone! Hey! Perfect. Thank you for coming out. Thank you for supporting us. Thank you for supporting yourself and supporting our students and staff. We definitely want to thank our English Montreal School Board for supporting us now and in the future. QPAT, our Quebec Provincial Association of Teachers. MTA, who is here, Montreal Teachers Association, for representing us. Westmount administration, thank you so much, Mr. DeMarco, Madam Luhu Kat, Ms. Mandu, and Mr. Shapiro. I want to thank everybody for coming out here and standing up for the human rights of uh, teachers and students at Westmount High. Um, you know, this is a, a really important action and we're so glad that you came out. How proud I am right now to be an employee of the English Montreal School Board. I, I want to say um, that, that it is an absolutely courageous stand that our school board has taken along with the Lester B. Pearson School Board in, in saying that they will not enforce this law. And I'd also like to, to say uh, a word of congratulations uh, uh, to the various mayors uh, that have also been taking a courageous stand here. So I, I'm talking about the mayor of NDG Cote d'Inez, Sue Montgomery. I'm talking about Montreal West Mayor, Benny Masella. And West Mount Mayor, Christina Smith. Um, you know, I think it's these kinds of actions that are, that are going to show our unity and, and really, uh, you know, send a clear message that this sort of thing uh, will not and cannot be tolerated. Our Westmount staff, thank you so much for getting up early. Thank you so, so much for coming out early. Uh, the students, we love you. Thank you. We know you start at 9.30, so thank you so much for being here. We appreciate you. All the parents, uh, the media, everyone who's here to support us in this cause, and we will stay right here until this bill is struck down or we go to court. We're not leaving. Uh, I, I'm just doing a little short one. It's going to go up on YouTube. Sure. Uh, Kamala Harris graduated from this school. You're going to tell her about what's happening here in Quebec? Um, we, <laughs> I, hadn't, I hadn't planned to do yet, but that's a really great idea. Yeah. Absolutely. I think she would be very interested, don't you? Yes, I think she would. Yeah. Well, sure. well, I love Quebec, but I think this is a real step backward. Uh, as, as we all do, and, and uh, you know, another thing I'd say is that I don't think anybody in this line is, uh, is against the notion of secularism. Uh, we just think that it's institutions that need to be secular and neutral, and that, and that that should not ever involve attacking the freedom and fundamental rights of individuals. Alors merci, Monsieur Green. Alors vive le Québec libre, n'est-ce pas? Absolument. Okay, merci. 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 En el centro de la pampa vive un pimiento. 
Sol y viento pa' su vida Sol y viento Sol y viento pa' su vida 